Hello, greetings everyone! It is I, Flip the Bacon. We are continuing our brand new uh, blind let's play. One of our brand, brand new blind let's plays. Uh, this one is Halcyon 6 Starbase Commander. And we just made it through like kind of the prologue there. And now we're going to get to choose one of our officers here. So we got a choice of three officers here. We got Lucas Belmont, um, Corbin Lau, and it sold freehold and now he, each one of these guys uh lucas is a scientist uh corbin's a tactical and uh it sold is engineer so i guess we kind of get to see their abilities here um and let's see let's read um let's see what this guy is his little his back history here formerly a prestigious uh a commit uh cam academy and can be, uh, 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 anyway, I'll skip that. At the new Carvalt University, Lucas Belmont um, elected to leave its relative um, relative safety to join the Federation. Um, let's see, to join the Federation command after losing a debate with himself in a series of dreams he had after tinkering with some meta universal barrier weak spots. At least he thinks it was himself. Nonetheless, he's found that being in likely death situation helps cure him of his sometimes crippling social awkwardness in ways that even the best uh, Adario stem can replicate. So I'm assuming that's his race there. So we're going to go on the Corbin Lau, which I'm feeling I'm going to lean to because I love Corbin uh, from... Um, Oh my goodness, the fifth element. So that's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. So Carbon Lau was born aboard the TFS um, Tamer Lane in the middle of a warp jump, leading to him getting the dreaded Alphit warp body, <laughs> uh, which followed him from kindergarten through the academy prep. His deep seated resentment to the fact that he, the fact, has led him to cultivate in an impossible, almost impossible optimistic disposition with his inner thoughts while his inner thoughts are left only to himself and to the counselor aboard the ship under his command. Alright, and then we got a sold here, and uh, considered a technological prodigy at a young age, a sold free man at the age of five was the youngest student ever admitted to the Academy of Engineers at the age 16. She purposely disfigured herself transplanting some home cooking home cooked cyborg apprehensions to key parts of her anatomy leading to several psych evaluations which she with the help of her newfound processing power passed with flying colors now right here in the game it's cutting cutting off a little bit of the font not too big of a deal um so we're gonna hook up with corbin lau he has the doom cannon fire at will backstab maneuver Weapon supercharge, um, phaser blast, precision shot, um, and just more damage, I'm guessing. So we'll select him as our captain. <clears throat> Tactical officers, officers are the most daring and quick thinking officers in the Federation. Their power repertoires consist of repertoires, repertoires, yep, consist of sneak attacks, immobilization attacks, and combo attacks while they're full, while they're buff powers can often add aim and damage boost to friendly units in space combat tactical officers are able to command tactical ships which are the hardest hitting of the three ship class types tactical science and engineering ah, so we, i'm going to go back and kind of see what each one of these guys things are scientists offer offers science officers are the most creative and academically brilliant officers in the federation their power Repertoire uh, often consists of area of effect effects attacks, quick hitting attacks, and deep buffing attacks. While their buff powers can heal or protect friendly units, while their yeah, yeah so so like well their their buff and whatever's can heal uh, people here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. The space combat science officer are able to command science ships which are the fastest hitting of the three ship class types tactical science and engineering so we're going to go back and check out the last one here which is an engineering um engineer officers are the toughest of the toughest and me mechanically minded officers in the federation um their power 
repertoire often consists of damage over time attacks, hard hitting attacks, and taunt attacks, while buffs often protect itself and buffs often protect itself from harm. In space combat, engineer officers are able to command engineering ships, which have the toughest hull of the three ship class types. Now, we're definitely going to go back with Corbin um, because we love Fifth Element, so we're just going to choose him and uh, confirm our choice here. Yeah. There we go. We chose Corbin. Sorry to wake you, Commander, but it looks like we have a situation. Click to continue. All right. So, let's see. Our sensors have picked up a fleet coming coming our direction. The signal suggests a pirate uh suggests pirate origins. Okay. So, uh let's see. We should expect them to arrive here in 40 hours. So, they're going to come from there to here. All right. In the case of hostiles, the experiment may be our only hope to defend ourselves. The crew will work around the clock to make the necessary preparations. Alright, Commander, the oncoming fleet was detected. Let's see, the oncoming fle fle fleet we detected has just entered our space. It's a single pirate ship, like likely hostile, patching them through now. Click to continue. Alright, so we got Razub, Toe Slicer, McCorm Mac. Federation Starbase, our scouts detected the departure of your fleet over a week ago. You're now at the mercy of Admiral Zap or Amarax, Zeb, and the Zealots clan. Hand over the Starbase and we'll allow you to return to the Federation space. Comply or we will commence with orbital bombardment. So this this is a screen uh, this is the scenario screen. This screen will appear during missions that require key decisions such as attacking, retreating, or using an officer to gain a or using an officer to gain a special outcome. In this case, the pirate fleet is demanding you surrender. Choose the response below. Hint: You should choose to reject the surrender. Yeah, we'll reject the surrender. All right, sorry, Commander. I am not authorized to allow you to surrender the station. Ah, we got a Chima over there because it was he only had one job. I saw that down in the corner there. So, all right, let's see what happens here. Is it going to say the same thing too? Oh, I chose surrender, <laughs> and I meant to reject. So, yeah, oops. <laughs> I made myself sound like a coward, but we got that achievement, which is cool. All right, Radzabs, Toast Slicer, McCarnick. I forgot your. Federals love your precursor toys. I forgot you. Yeah, Federals love your precursor toys. Prepare for bombardment, Federal scum or Federation scum. Commander, in light of this of this development, we should begin initializing the experimental starship creation process now. All right, click the ship construction button. Oh, cool. So we're going to a ship. The rogue class tactical vessel is currently. The only starship the starbase can't build, click on it to select it. Now, click the construct ship button to get the process started. Okay. Now, click the construct button to confirm and add the starship to your queue. Okay. The ship will take these many days. Well, the starship will take these many days to build. To skip time, you first need to return to the star map. Click on the star map button. Okay, so we can skip time. I wonder if that's its ability there. Click here to skip time. They just waited for three days outside the thing. Commander, we are ready to launch in T minus three seconds. We got another achievement. Tier one ship. Cool. Two seconds. One second. Matter creator to play. And we got our first little ship there. Check that out. So the computer commander, the experiment was a success. All scans suggest that this newly constructed ship to be combat ready. She just requires an officer to command her. Click to continue. Select your first officer, Corbin Lau, and sign him to the new rogue ship. Okay. Let's see. To dispatch this ship, you'll need to return to the starship by clicking here. We're just kind of checking out things here. All right. The enemy sh fleet is stationed at the star base approach. Click here now. Click 
the send fleet button to dispatch a fleet to this location. The approach the approach to Starbase, any enemy fleets wishing to bombard Hal Hal Halcyon 6 will likely take this exact position. Okay. Alright, click the top. Let's see, click on the top. The top. Click on the top, select a ship slot to add your newly built ship to your first fleet. Okay, so we'll click here. Now select the rogue ship to add it to your fleet. All right, and now we got a launch. So we only have one ship right now. The approach of the star base. Yep, 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 yep. Finally, click the launch fleet to dispatch your fleet to the selected location. Okay. Pirate ships swoop in to attack position. Attack pirate ships. Yep. All right, so what we got here? Harass, crippling shot, sensors offline, engineers down. Um, and you kind of you can see what turns go in here. So um, let's see, this one's a barrage of laser strikes, recovery one round. Um, what does this one do? A heat-seeking missile that goes straight for the engines. Yep. And then this one is. Exploits vulnerable. Space Commander. Sabotage your target by teleporting explosives inside the ship. Does additional 150 damage over four rounds. Alright, so let's try the heat sinking missiles and shoot them at him. So the engine's down. Alright, great. I got to deal with that later. And then, should we just, uh, how often can I shoot this? It recovers every round, so I can do it as much as I want. Um... End up finishing him off. Nope. Not quite. Great hit. And now he's going to attack us back. Nope. Harass. Alright. So we can do it again. And just finish him off. Oh, and I forgot to look at their guy on the ship. But I think we already knew who he was. So look at that. Victory. We won our first battle. Yeah. So victory. Battle won. So we got rewards. We got some 22 materials. And we got 40 dark matter. We end up beating our first uh, battle there. Okay. My first victory of many. Commander, we have a long-range hypercast coming in. Putting it through now. From time to time, the leaders of various factions may contact you via the station bridge. All right. I don't believe we met. Free, feel free to refer to me as Admirax. A tile that demotes my supreme command over the over the pri uh, pirate clan in the sector now commander or should i say acting commander my spies tell me i should congratulate you on your new post they also inform me that your fleet has fled the sector leaving you on your own and so i'm giving you the courtesy of informing you that we'll be visiting you very soon <laughs> oh, it gets a crazy eye there. And this is my territory, and and so your station now belongs to me. And unlucky for you, I've united all the pirate clans to help me take it. I highly suggest you turn, tell, and return to Federation space. If you are of another mind, stay where you are and prepare for your deaths. Uh, both his eyes did. Both his eyes get all crazy. Yeah, they do. Oh, here they come. Oh, oh, oh. Can we pause this? Oh, oh. Time for death, Federation Pig. We got ships, Lollab, Choker, Runwald. All right. I will avenge the death of Razab, Toast Slicer, and deliver this station to Amorax. All right. Corbin Lau, I applaud you. I applaud your confidence. Next time, apply it more constructively. All right. So we're in another battle here. Ooh, good shot. You also hit me. Barely a scratch. Um. So. This one does more damage. So we'll shoot this guy. And what's his uh, private officer? And this one is. Can we see? Oh, uh, we're getting shot up there a little bit. I'm going to see this one right here. Um. We can see this one down here, but we can't see this one. Oh, uh, this is Sheb. Uh, slob choker, grunt wall, pi uh, pirate officer, another mindless pirate. Okay. So, let's go for the kill and try to finish this one off. Oh, I got one hit point left. Really? 
barely a scratch. So we're gonna have to hit, kill the one guy that we did one damage to. And uh Um, let's do this. And what what's this do? Engine's down. Okay, that slows it down, and then we'll put a bomb. Okay, I'm getting this a little bit more. And sensors offline. And we end up killing that person. Great stuff. He, there were no match for us. We got more um, materials and dark matter. I'm assuming this is how we build more ships or get more advanced stuff. You know, I think I actually prefer it when I'm outnumbered. All right, you can always return your fleet to the star base by first clicking on your desired fleet. All right. And click and clicking on the return home button. Okay. Commander, the crew is eager to regain our full sensor cap cap capacity abilities, cap capabilities. To do that, we require an extra source of energy. The good news is the tech research team has figured out a way to harness the station's core reactor with a smaller standard issued diorithium reactor. Okay, so click on the tech research button to go to the tech screen. Click the on the diorithium reactor tech. All right. Reactor diorithium starbase room. Let's see technical. Let's see tech research on how to build a diorithium. Uh, reactor on Halcyon 6 to power the Starbase, let's see, the power the Starbase generates, plus 20 power. And now click research. Uh, with the Diothranium reactor tech research, it's time to create a space in the station for the reactor itself. Click on the Starbase button. Okay. Oh, so we get to kind of build our stuff quick on the rune room or click on the rune room below all right click on the sign officer button all right let's see requires let's see tactical estimated time three days this is a rune section of the halcyon six it must be cleared before anything can be built here Requ uh, requires officer rank lieutenant level one all right so we're just kind of checking this out requires uh 54 of our research or, or things there and uh my little camera's in the corner, so I can't see all my stuff. I'm not too sure what this is. Dark matter, okay, and I'm seeing through my camera, material and crew, and then I think there's something else here, fuel. Okay, so I might end up turning off my cameras from on out, but we'll see. Um, all right, so add officer. Let's see, tactical officer. First, select your first officer, Corbin Lau, to assign him to the job. Okay, and click confirm right here okay to skip time return to the ship but all right folks right now i'm gonna call it it for today for our blind let's play part two of halcyon six starbase commander uh yeah this game still is impressing me so far there's definitely nothing that i'm like uh about i'm really enjoying it it's really good uh yeah i'm super stoked about this um so yeah i might have to move my camera down to the other side of the screen bottom of the screen when i play this game because i don't i imagine it's important to see those resources which i can't see from my camera up there but anyway folks um great game so far i'm still enjoying it and like i said i'm gonna wrap this up with my famous parting words i say at the end of pretty much every single one of my videos which you guys are all ready for so flip that bacon I'll see you next time in the next video. Goodbye.